Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you different ways to add color that aren't the traditional cardstock. So this is the typical 180 and then you add the cardstock. But what if you're not doing a 180 and you still want to add some pizzazz? So I'm going to show you four techniques that I used in this sweet bee honeycomb pattern. It's available in my Etsy shop. There's a link below. But four different techniques. So stay tuned. You'll be surprised. Happy folding. I'm going to show you various ways to add color that aren't cardstock. Typically, I prefer cardstock, but that's only when you're doing a 180. This is not a 180, so I'm going to show you other methods to add color. Now, as you can see, this B is not popping out the way I want it to do. So I'm going to show you different techniques to give some beautiful color to my B in honeycomb. So the first step when you finish a cut and fold, which most videos don't show you, and it confused me in the beginning, is you have all of these marks from all your pencils. So what you need to do, some of them, you can kind of flatten the book out a bit, and very carefully, you're gonna go ahead and erase them. Just gives it a much nicer finished look. It's just something that a lot of people overlook. Oops, as you can see, if you're not careful, you can, especially if it's a small tab, they can rip off. Again, not in the world if you lose one or two. So some you can erase like this, kind of in a grouping, but then you're going to have to go back. And then some of these marks are kind of harder, so I kind of take the paper back and just have an area where it's a little bit easier. You kind of have to go through... I mean, you don't have to go through them one by one, but you do have to get, some will be trickier than others. So that's gonna be step one. So before you even add the color, you gotta do some of this foundational kind of work. So our next step after you've erased everything is for me, I've decided I'm going to paint my honeycomb with an acrylic paint. So I'm going to water down my acrylic paint just a little bit so it's a little bit easier. So as you can see, I have some water right here. Here's my acrylic paint, and I'm not going to need a ton. I'm just going to use a Q-tip because I think the cotton is going to be easier than a paintbrush. But again, totally up to you. I'm going to hold the book. Not tight, but also not too loose. So I'm going to mix this acrylic paint with a little bit of water. And then very carefully, as you can see, it just goes on real nice. If you don't water it down, it's going to be really kind of glop gloppy to work with. This it just is the perfect consistency when you water it down just a little bit. I feel like it makes the, the honeycomb with this golden color just kind of pop out real nice. I feel like this is going to really help define the honeycomb from where the bee ends. I think that's, as I was folding this, I'm like, some of the parts I feel like were just kind of not popping out right. Really liking this color. It's a little bit darker than a yellow, not quite an orange. Kind of does remind me. Of honey. It's gonna start to so the next method that you can of a way to add color is with Sharpie. It's gonna use a lot more than you think, so you may, if you're doing a large area, you might want to buy more than one of the same color. So I'm going to start with the outline of my B, 
And when you do this, you need to make sure you color in both sides of the tab. So I'm going to take this piece of paper just to block it in. Make sure you're coloring the right one because this is permanent. And you're going to try to color the entire tab in both sides of it. So once you do that, flip it over and make sure you have the other side as well. Make, keep double checking that you're at the exact spot that you want to be at. Again. Color in that tab. Takes a bit of patience. But it will give you that pop of color that you're looking for. I usually do all one side of the tab and then go back and do the other side. Totally up to you how you want to do that. So notice, see how it doesn't go all the way through? That's why you need to go back and then do the other side. It's kind of relaxing, actually. And as you can see, even though I haven't done both sides of the tab yet, I do want to show you what the pop of color does do. Oops, make sure all your folds are back where they should be. And as you can see, it already, even though I haven't totally finished, you can already start to see that pop of color. The third technique I'm going to demonstrate in my b-book is using washi tape to add color. Now I normally wouldn't use all these different techniques in one book, but I'm just kind of doing this as a sample of what you can do. So let's start with the washi tape. So I want washi tape on this on this tab right here. So I'm going to cut a very small piece. I'm going to go ahead and then cover the tab. Now, as you can see, it's very hard to get this exact, and this process does take a while. Okay, it's a really fun way to add some sparkles right here. And now it's exactly the same size as the tab. Just fold it right over the top. And that'll be my first piece of washi tape. 
So it's just really fun and sparkly. And then you just continue the process. Because this does take so long, this process, I wouldn't recommend this for a large section. But if you just want like a quick splash of color, especially with like fun designs that the washi tape can come in, it really is giving that really pretty splash right there. So I'm definitely happy that I'm doing it. This one happened to be the exact size. Though now the washi tape will add a lot of bulk, so just be aware it is a little bit of a thicker process. Now my tabs are getting a little bit bigger. Cut that down a little. So notice it's a lot of juggling of the book in different angles to get it just right. But it's a very effective technique. So as you can see, I've already done three of the tabs right here. And you can see the really how nice, beautiful, and sparkly this is going to be. So I'll continue doing this, and then I'm going to show you the very last technique, so please stay tuned, it has something to do with makeup. As you can see, I finished the washi tape for the wings, and you can see it looks just like that. It's really quite beautiful. And now for the last technique is I'm going to use some eyeshadow to do the striping inside the B. You can use um, any type of eyeshadow. This, you can just use anything from the dollar store, that's just fine. You can use either a Q-tip or an eyeshadow brush, whatever you have. Kind of load it up. I'm going to use this sparkly stuff, just so it matches. And then you just put it right on. You kind of have to hold the book kind of tight to get it right on there. You see, it's just a subtle technique. It's just to add a little bit of color. As you can see, I'm really rubbing it on there. I'm thinking I might try to do it on the black as well and see what happens. Ooh, it does add a little sparkle. I like that. It kind of matches the washi tape a little bit. This is a time when you can just kind of play with the color and see what you like. is my fun B.